guys, welcome back to our channel. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Britta. And I'm Carly. And we would love it if you would subscribe down below and hit the bell so you're notified when we upload. We have our favorite videos to film today, our monthly favorites. We have so many in this January favorites video because we didn't do yeah. a December because we just did a yearly. So apologies. We're, we're gonna, really going to try to go yeah. fast, but I have two like major, no, major I updates. feel like a lot of mine are like really good. Yeah, I, but I have like strong lifestyle, items. I guess. Yeah, that's true. So let's get into it. Okay, you guys, I have to start with my like life altering lifestyle purchase that I purchased in December. And I purchased this because, well, first of all, it's the Google Home Nest Hub. And I was listening to an episode of Glass Angeles. You don't listen to that podcast. It's Kirby and Sarah. And they interview like some beauty brand founders. They review some new products. It's a really cute podcast. I like it's it a lot. It's really good. Um, but they did a gift guide episode. And I don't know if they specifically we're steering clear of like beauty gifts because that's all they talk about is beauty, but it was more like lifestyle gifts. And Kirby talked about the Google Nest Home Hub. Sorry, I realized the screen is dirty. You need to clean it. Um, but she talked about how her and her boyfriend Patrick got like three of these for their house and they each have one in their office and then they have one in their kitchen. And she was like, it's just great because I can listen to a podcast on it. I can listen to music. I can watch YouTube. I can watch Netflix. And like, she's like, if we're in the kitchen and like cooking, like we can watch stuff on it. And it's like the perfect s s screen size. And I, so I looked into it immediately. I was like, this sounds perfect because just to give you some backstory, um, I really love watching like YouTube videos or listening to podcasts when I get ready. And obviously I can do that on my phone, but if I'm watching a YouTube video, I literally would like take my phone and prop it up on this tiny shelf I have in my bathroom. It would like always fall. I always had to like put a bunch of stuff behind it just to get it to stay. And it just wasn't working. I was like, I need something that I can watch YouTube videos on in my bathroom. So when I heard her talking about it, I immediately like went to go check it out because I thought this would be the perfect solution and spoiler alert it was because as you can see the screen size is like literally the perfect size I just put it in the corner like of my sink area and I I'm so obsessed with it I can't even describe it to you hold it like here so they can see okay yeah for, is, for context this is the size and it's it goes up like I usually only listen to it on like five or six and I think the volume goes up to like 15 like it can get really loud um, so usually like if I'm in the shower like now I just put a podcast on so I can listen to something in the morning and then when I'm getting ready I'll put on YouTube which YouTube you have to kind of like cast it like if you ever had a Google Chromecast it's the same thing so you have to go to like the YouTube app click like the cast button and then it'll play on here um, but then Netflix it's like the coolest because I'll just say like hey Google play Gilmore Girls on Netflix and it'll pick up where I left off because I've been I've restarted it from the beginning so I've been watching it like on my normal TV and it'll like pick up where I left off so I can watch Gilmore Girls while I get ready I love this and the best part is that it's under a hundred dollars I think when I got it it was like eighty dollars and like with taxes and shipping I think it was maybe like 93 and I had a gift card from um, my bosses for Christmas so I used that on it and but I would buy it a million times over and I don't really need more than one I feel like I can move it like from room to room if I need to because our house is like not big <laughs> but I cannot recommend this thing enough I think it's amazing I got mine on walmart.com because they it had been sold out a lot of places when I went to go buy it but I know you can get it on like Best Buy and Target too so I'll mm -hmm. link it down below maybe like a few different places in case it's sold out again but I I cannot sing its praises more. I think it's like the best piece of tech I now own. It's just so nifty. Okay, I have like a huge favorite as well. So we got our hair colored back in, was it December or November? November. November. And our hair colorist said that she noticed our hair had like a weird deposit on it. And we think it was Olaplex. Yeah, she said to change our shampoo and conditioner because we were using the Olaplex shampoo and conditioner for years at that point. And she said that it can have... I know there's like a lot of back and forth about this, but that it's like not supposed to be used that much. I don't really know what the deal is with Olaplex, the mm -hmm. shampoo and conditioner, because we really did love the product for a long time. But anyway, so I was on the hunt to find a new shampoo and conditioner, and I did a lot of research. I'm the type to really research things before I buy them, and I kept hearing really positive things about the brand Da... Um, I'm saying I think it's Davines, right? Davines? Davines? D-A-V-I-N-E-S. It's made in Italy, so I'm not entirely sure how to say it. But I really, the only problem is that they're not sold at Sephora and it's not like a cheap brand. They're sold at like Nordstrom, they're pretty, right? Yeah, but I'm getting to like the trial okay, size. Okay, okay. Um, 
it's not like an affordable brand. So I didn't want to buy it and then not be able to like return it or have to return it. And then I wanted to try it first. So I found this little set on Target and the shampoo. So I got, it's the O, O, I shampoo. So I think Oi, Oi, Oi. Mm -hmm. I don't know. We? Oh, maybe. Doesn't we have a, like Oi? something okay, else? Yeah, I don't know. And then the Oi conditioner, OI conditioner. Um, and they both have this Roku oil, which is like for the, they have multiple lines. Um, but Target had this set on the dot com. And so I thought, oh, that's perfect. I can try it out first. And I ended up like loving them both um, and buying the full size from Nordstrom. So yeah, okay, yeah. they sell, they don't have everything on Nordstrom, but this range they did. So I bought it on Nordstrom. Um, but especially the conditioner, but I really love both. The shampoo is actually like the exact same consistency as the Olaplex shampoo. So if you've used that, it's like kind of thicker mm -hmm. and it definitely like still lathers, but not as much as like, I'd say like some drugstore ones with mm -hmm. like a lot of sulfates in them. Um, but it's really gentle. And even though there's this oil blend in both, I don't feel like it weighs down my hair, which is my main concern because they have multiple um, ranges. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll try something else if I don't like these, but I ended up really liking them. So there's like something for everyone. There's so many in this range and I'm just so impressed. Like, I don't know if you can tell, but my hair just looks so much like shinier and it feels like silkier and honestly I think that's because of this conditioner. This conditioner feels like a hair mask. It's like mm -hmm. super no, it's in a jar. thick in a jar. Um, it just feels like butter and like you put it on and it's one of those conditioners that like if your hair is tangly in the shower and you put it on you can like immediately run your fingers through your hair because it does such a good job like making it silky and detangly. So we had to talk about this. Um, I really want to buy the all-in-one milk because that's like the main, that's like yeah. their hero skew that they're known for. So I have that in my Nordstrom cart right now. I might hit hit the um, payment button today because I really want to try it. But love this brand so far and I hadn't updated you guys. I went through the whole like travel size um, and we haven't gotten to talk about it yet. Okay, I'll just do, this is a really random like quick favorite, but I purchased the Morphe M504 brush on Ulta. I mean, I heard some like YouTubers talk about it and I needed a new blending crease brush and I know I use this in the Get Ready With Me, mm, but it does look nice. I've literally been using it every day. It is the best like diffused crease brush I've ever used because as you can see, it's pretty big and it is tapered, but it's kind of dense. So I feel like the thing I like about it is that it packs on color and blends it out at the same time really effortlessly. Like I don't even have to go over top with a different blending brush. I just like, and it, I don't know, just I feel like it literally applies the perfect amount of product like to my crease. And on like an everyday basis, if I'm just putting like one color in the crease or bronzer in the crease, it's just so easy. I like swirl it, tap, and then I'm like done. And it just, it like, it stays where you put it. It doesn't diffuse like outside of where you want it and it deposits like I said enough product because it is kind of densely packed so it's not like too fluffy where it's like dispersing the pigment all over the place um so I really love this and I'll probably get another one because I just like feel like I like like to have backups of like good eyeshadow brushes that I like and you can get it on Ulta like I said so I'll leave it linked down below okay and next up is their rare beauty bronzer stick in the shade happy soul um I did a whole video on this so I won't go on and on about it but it's really good. It's like a, sh um, not sheer, it's like a thin matte cream bronzer, which is really rare to my collection. I don't have a lot of cream bronzers that dry down matte, um, but it still has like a really lightweight, thin texture. Um, the color is pretty warm and it seems like the whole range is warm, but if you watch that video, you'll see it in use and I've just really been loving it. And I'm really excited to use it in the summer because I think I'm gonna really love um, the matte texture when it's like, you know, like hot out mm -hmm. and I don't want like my bronzer to move everywhere. So yeah. I'm really glad I got this. I think it's really good. Okay. And I have a cream bronzer favorite too. I've just been trying like so many, I feel like. The Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Fair. I'll hold it up so you can see the shade. Um, I know this has been around forever. I feel like it's like the OG cream bronzer, mm -hmm. but the thing I love about this is the ease of use. Well, I like that it's in a pan. That's like my preferred. Mm -hmm way to use a cream bronzer but I can use this like I can you know put my finger in here do the dotting method blend it out with a brush I can put my brush directly in here I can put my sponge directly in here it's such a thin emollient formula that I feel like you can apply it in a multitude of ways it never looks like 
cakey it never looks muddy it's so easy to blend out the shade fair is like really nice for my skin tone it's kind of like that perfect contour bronzer shade it like warms up the face but also like chisels it out um i just really like the thin texture of this formula i feel like it is unique to my collection i'm trying to think of like another product that i have that would be similar and i can't like it's really different than the bomb contour Janessa Myricks because that one is like so balmy and this is just so thin it just blends out so easily so I just like it I feel like I've been reaching for it so much on a day-to-day -day basis when I just want to do my makeup quickly and not really have to think about it and like I said the color is really really nice as well so I get why this is so hyped up and it's like been around and like loved for so long Okay, something that I purchased during the VIB sale, but I was really stuck on the Patrick Ta Lamination Gel, so wasn't really testing this out, but then this month I got really into it, and it's the Refi, what is this even called? Well, you know what it is. Yeah. It's like their brow gel, um, like their lamination gel. I have it in right now, and I'm just so surprised by this because I feel like, I think I put this in a weekly phase a while back, but um, I feel like it goes on white and it kind of scares you, but it's so easy to brush out and then your brows are just in place like all day. And the thing I, I thought this was going to be like a thick pomade like texture and it was going to like get kind of cakey if I wasn't careful, but it actually was like quite a thin texture. So as long as you don't use too much, it's very easy to use. And I feel like they need to, you know, like market that because yeah. I feel like when I saw like this first launch and the brand was sort of you know showing how people used it i was worried that it was going to be difficult to use but it's actually like a really thin texture so it makes it much easier um and i think my brows look really mm -hmm. good and i've really liked how it's been looking it is like an expensive product for a brow gel um so i'm deciding if i want to repurchase when it's done but so far i really love it and it really surprised me okay my skincare favorite for the month is the pacifica wake up beautiful retinoid eye cream and this is so lovely i truly love it first of all i love the glass packaging for like a drugstore brand all their packaging now is really nice yeah to use this glass packaging like it's clearly the same like glass jar that like summer fridays mm -hmm. use on like their eye cream um it looks really beautiful i don't know if you can really tell but it's a really thick texture like it's not going anywhere get this i bought it oh okay <laughs> yeah um i got it from ulta i believe but i know they have it maybe i ordered it on target they have it at target ulta you know pacifica's carried a lot of places um but i really wanted a nighttime eye cream that had retinol in it or retinoid any any retinol because i read somewhere once that like if you're using an eye cream it should have vitamin c or retinol because like otherwise what's the point you could just use like you know your mm -hmm. face cream under your eyes and i do kind of think that's true like i have a lot of eye creams that i like and use because they feel nice under my eyes but i do want it to like do some work now that we're like 31 and i'm like i just need help under my eyes um so I got this because it had amazing reviews and people were like, the texture is so nice and like it really has diminished my fine lines. And I've been using this for definitely over a month, perhaps even almost two months now that we're like at the end of January. Mm -hmm. um, and I really do think it has helped diminish the fine lines under my eyes. Like they're just a little bit more plumped up. Like maybe they're not completely gone, obviously, but they're just less noticeable. Like I feel like my concealer like maybe creases a little less and it could just be in my mind but i actually think this is helping and it's a really thick texture like i'll put some on the back of my hand to show you um like how thick it is and a little goes a really long way which i like too because this will like clearly last me forever but the thing that um well I'll, I'll try to show you so as you can see it's like really thick um but because it is like a thicker eye cream sometimes like eye creams like this are like a little bit difficult to rub in so usually when i'm rubbing it in i'll do like circular motions like this and that'll get rid of like the white residue pretty quickly um, but i just want to make that note because nobody or that i read mentioned it in the reviews and when i would do my usual like tapping or just like swiping motion like this it wasn't really rubbing in like i have to go in circles to kind of get it to like soak into the skin but once you get it soaked in or like rubbed in and it soaks in, it just like feels like a drink of water. Like even on my hand, it feels so hydrating on the skin. And I like that it's not too, too thick. So it doesn't like feel like, you know, sometimes like bunched up under the eyes. It's like thin enough that it's going to soak into the skin fully. It's a really lovely texture. It like seemingly is working for me and it's such a good price point. Like I cannot believe it. And it could just be like, again, it could just be that I feel like it's working and I don't think like 
my fine lines are disappearing by any means but like I said I think they look a little more like plumped up and healthier and like less visible so I'm going to continue to use this for <laughs> until I find something to replace it I know I talked about or I guess that'll go video will go up next but on Friday um there's an eye balm that has retinoid that I've been using and sometimes I like to layer the two just for like added um like anti-aging I guess but they are both really lovely in different textures but this is like one of the best eye creams I feel like I've ever used because I just love the texture and the results I'm seeing so far. Okay, back in November, I made a Victoria Beckham Beauty order. And again, because we haven't really had a chance to like put anything in our favorites video in December, I had this lipstick favorite that I love. I also want to mention I ordered one of the eye, what is it called? I can't remember what they're called, but like they're the sparkly eye toppers. And I definitely, I tried to use it three times and I had a reaction every time. My eye turned like bright red and it got like really like painful. Not like painful, but I had some sort of reaction. So I'm really bummed about those because I got the shade Honey and I loved the color and I loved how it looked. But something with my skin does not work with though. <laughs> okay, sorry the dog wanted to bark, but... My favorite thing in the order that I got is one of the lipsticks. I had never picked one up before and it was such a hard decision. I honestly want more shades because they keep releasing more and more colors and they're all beautiful. But I got the shade Spice and I'm wearing it right now with the Victoria Beckham O2 lip liner, which you guys know is my Holy Grail lip liner. And I love this. The only thing I don't like is that there's a scent and it's not bad, but it's like a little bit of a perfumey fragrance. So that was disappointing. <laughs> but besides that... Um, hmm. yeah, it's, it's light, like it goes away once it's on, but I had no idea because I've watched so many reviews of these. Is it like a satin finish? Mm -hmm. nice. And no one's talked about that it has like a fragrance, but the shade Spice is kind of like, it's interesting because it looks like a yellow based nude in the tube, in the bullet. And those are my favorite types of nudes. But then when it goes on my lips, it ends up being a little more cool toned and Either way, I love it. I think that the undertones flatter my skin really well. I honestly just think Maybe it's... you'll have to get that. Yeah, it ended up just being like a really neutral, like, brownie nude. And that's like what I look for. So, I love this shade. I'm really glad I went with Spice for my first lipstick because I've now worn it. Like, I wore it to our holiday Christmas party. I wore it on New Year's. I wore it on our birthday. Like, it's like my go-to, like, lipstick now because it's so comfortable. I'm going to show you. It's like, it feels like butter going on your lips. Like... It's so soft, but it's thin. I actually can't stand. I used to love the Bite Beauty lipsticks, and I still like think that they were like a company that really brought back lipsticks. Mm -hmm. But looking back, like my tastes have just changed. Where like that was like a really creamy but like thick lipstick. Yeah. This is like creamy but thin, and that's what I look for. And I just love that because it is more of like a satin finish. It, my lip lines don't look like exaggerated. You guys know we love matte lipstick, but this isn't so like satiny that it looks really shiny on yeah. the lips. So I just think it's like honestly like my perfect lipstick. I really love these and I want to get more colors now. And the case is like literally stunning. The packaging yeah. is beautiful. Okay, last up for me, well we have each have a book favorite, mm -hmm. but it's a bag and I, okay, so I'm gonna <laughs> say the name from what I think it is. I think it's just called the Pauline Paris Numero Nano in, oh, Numero One Nano in the shade Trio Black. So I needed a new purse. I had been using the Kiwana camera bag for years. I got one of their holiday limited edition bags in the black crocodile leather um, maybe four years ago. It was a long time. I've had I it think for it was that long ago. Three or four I got years my ago. first Kiwana bag like four years ago. And really? that was the black original one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then I got mine like that same year in December. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Anyway, three or four years ago, I got this bag and I've been using it ever since. It is, was the perfect bag. It has like a foam pocket in the front. It was the perfect size, the perfect shape, perfect for daytime, nighttime. I loved everything about it. And then Kiwana went and discontinued their camera bag style. We still don't know why. It's really confusing to be honest because I've it was like numerous times, no answers. It's what they sort of built their brand on like yeah. their brand is built on like essentials which we love we love their whole brand concept we love the founders on second line yes but this was one of their essentials like their classic so weird. Pieces. like they have like totes and stuff but yeah i feel like the camera bag was like the perfect everyday bag mm -hmm. why would I mean, you we still have them i have two i have mine yeah i have, I have the original one, but... and the 
Facebook chocolate crop. I never, like I literally used it every day. I would mm -hmm. like keep it outside. It got so faded. It got really worn. The quality was amazing. So it's still, I could still use it. You but keep I, it outside, what? No, like it just, like if you're outside, oh, it gets like okay, the leather yeah, gets yeah. like, like yeah. lighter, you know? Mm -hmm. I noticed it once when it was outside. I was like, wow, it's really faded. Anyway, mm -hmm. so it's like I need to find a new everyday bag that I love that's leather because I want, I love like small leather goods. Anyway, and I didn't want to spend, I think, I didn't want to spend more than 400 for sure because you guys know we're frugal, but I do, I will spend money on something that is going to like take me a no, few I years. No, I just want a purse I liked and was 700 I'm like, no thanks. Yeah, I know that's, people that's, spend way more on bags. Yeah, but. people spend a lot more and maybe I'll be one of those people someday, but for right now where I'm at my life, 400 was like my max. And I'd seen a lot of influencers talk about Pauline over the years and there, it's like that one signature style. I don't remember which one it's called, but that one was like a little bit too big for me. And I'm like, I need something small. I don't like something big. Then you just carry around things you don't need. I literally just need my wallet, my lipstick, my phone, hand sanitizer, and like an invisible to be frank. So I went with this bag because it's the perfect size in my opinion. And I got the trio black, which has like the black pebbled leather and then the black suede up top. And I just like the contrast of the two different fabrics. Um, and it's, it has this cute little like clasp here and then, oh, Target receipt. <laughs> Um, you can like close these, but if you leave it open, I feel like it, you know, allows you to keep more in there. Um, so I feel like all my essentials fit perfectly in here. And then the only thing I was worried about was my phone because the Kiwana bag had like a front pocket for your phone. Mm -hmm. And this one actually has one on the back, as you can see. So it's not like as ideal because it, you can see it, but my phone fits perfectly fine in there. And then if I'm like at the store and I need to like carry my phone with me, like it sits perfectly fine there and it's super secure like the pocket is very tight um and then it's a crossbody, so it just fits across the body it's adjustable and i also didn't realize how much i would love the feature of like this small handle strap i feel like oftentimes like if i'm just going out the door like instead of having to put this across my body i can like grab this and just like go um and i think like on a night out i would even maybe remove the strap and just carry it like this and it's super cute i love the shape i think it's so chic the quality seems super super nice i mean we'll see how it holds up but i feel like it lives up to the hype like i see so many influencers talking about this brand and it's really beautiful and they have the larger bag style too so like maybe if i you know eventually want i really love the shape so i think i would stick with this but maybe i would like upgrade i wish they were something in between you mm -hmm. know like i feel like the large is like too large this is it's just big enough but i do kind of wish i could fit my phone inside of it so if hopefully they you know do another edition sometime that's a little bit bigger um and they have beautiful colors they have like this blue crocodile one that's so stunning mm -hmm. they have a green they have at least like 20 different shades um like again I, they had like three different black versions i just went with this one but really recommend um i want to try like more from this brand because i feel like so far i'm really impressed with the quality and i think like the price point is totally worth it we just have some quick book favorites of the month so i just finished my fifth book of the month but the first one i read i finished on the first and so I, I would say I read five, but not like really. Okay. Um, but the first one I read was actually my favorite. So I wanted to put it in this month's week monthly favorites. But Britta, it was her favorite of the, or her second favorite of the year. Yeah. Love and Other Words. Mm -hmm. um, so Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. I won't go into it because Britta raved about it in our yearly book favorites review. So we'll link that down below. But it's a really good book about like childhood mm -hmm. best friends, reconnecting later, obviously falling in love. Yeah. There's a lot <laughs> of like um, deep things in like real life that happens yeah. um, and that makes it even better. It's such a good book. Um, I was really happy that I started the year finishing it. Um, and then I liked some of the other ones I read, but follow us on Goodreads for yeah. quick little reviews. We'll leave both of our things down below. And then my book that I... I'm choosing for the month because again I think I also read five but same thing like one of mm -hmm. them I started in December um, is the last thing he told me and I really didn't think I would love this book as much as I did and because I heard so many good things it was like a Reese's book book club mm -hmm. pick this is um, on my list yeah and I gave it a five which I like rarely do because I loved it like basically it's about I think this isn't really giving it away but a husband 
goes missing and like he gives his wife a note via like a little child he's not even like a teacher but like this little kid like comes to her door and says like oh i saw your husband and he told me to give you this note and all it says is protect her and so immediately the wife knows that the husband is talking about his daughter her stepdaughter and so she's like rattling her brain like why did he send me this note where is he why do i need to protect her like from who from what and they just it's like a journey of like finding out like well they actually don't really find out where the husband is i guess that's kind of giving away but um it's like what happened well, maybe like, it's a series then or no no i don't think mm -hmm. it's a series but the ending was like so heartbreaking it made me cry which is also rare for a book it's not really a love story this isn't a love story at all well i guess it's almost a love story between the mom and the stepdaughter because their bond grows really strong um in the absence of her father but it is so good. It, like, had me on the edge of my seat the whole time I was reading it. I, like, it did not know where it was going. Of, what's that show that we watched? Revenge? No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> where um, the guy gets kidnapped and then his family doesn't know where he is. We loved it. The what Netflix was? one? Yeah. Oh, uh, with Adrian Grenade? Yeah, I cannot remember what Yeah, that was good, but that's not like this. Oh, okay. But I guess kind of, but not really. Okay. Um, yeah, I guess kind of, though, if, if you were, like, comparing it to a show. This would be a good movie. Um, because I did it's like not like expect it. where we ended up with it, but it was so good So well written. I'd never read anything by the author before um, And I would just recommend it to anyone that is looking for like a suspenseful book. That's not scary Okay, you guys made it through this is such a long video. Thank you so much We just had so much that we wanted to share mm -hmm. with you so many good favorites this month um, And I can't believe it's February. We'll see you in our next yeah. video